All right, time for a little bit of Contra payback if they get anything going on. I don't know about that. One thing that is uh, of note is during the supply phase, my regular unit there is out of supply. Now the insurgency unit there, the 078 insurgency unit, he can trace a uh, supply line through an enemy zone of control. Regular units can't, so his movement and defense factor is halved. So he's basically just sitting duck there waiting to get eliminated. We'll see what we can do about rescuing him. Uh, it has been the, uh, we've taken care of the counter regular unit movement phase, and there ain't really much to point out. I have some units here, but they're all going to be helicopter transported. They got plenty of transportation. We'll find out what they want to do. Mostly moved uh, units across the river in Nicaragua. Now that leaves this spot here ungarrisoned. See what they want to do about it, but we're just moving these. And that's all they can move. They can't move too much through this jungle. These old boys will stay here. We'll see what the attack is. I have four attack factors there, which should be pretty good. You'll have to muster eight to get a two to one. But that is about it. We had another unit here that we reorganized. And we are getting very low on allied reorganization points. We wanted to save those for regular units because we can disband our insurgency units. Now it is currently the insurgency movement phase. So uh, let me make sure I didn't skip anything. Yep. Let me move my insurgency units. You want to do there? This is really kind of key. I'm trying to hold these boys back. We were able to hold them back one time. I don't know if we'll be able to hold them back again. We don't really have any forces in this area to mount much of an attack, so let me see what I want to do with my insurgency units. Uh, after I get done moving them, I place them, then I disband them. So we'll see how we want to do that strategically. Be back. All right, we're back with the insurgency movement, and I have some ideas. The key thing here is, this here's the old, uh, uh, what do you call it? Plug in the dam. We lose this one right here, and they're all free to get back in here. This here is going to have to be reinforced. This is a good supply source. The only reason he's out of supply is because I don't have no unit here. So what we're going to do is make him a little supply line with units. And the, we just got to put a unit in this hex and reinforce this. So this little hex here, this hex here, all these hexes from this trench, all up here has got to be reinforced. Now, these units here that are... Uh, took a step loss and service units that are weakened that are have a step loss will all be disbanded I'm gonna bring some special forces I'll bring as many uh, column shifts as I can in here this little spot here up in the mountains <laughs> mountain jungle area could be my little Dian Fen Dian Fen Fu or whatever it's called or my little caisson so we got I've already got uh, uh, supply depots I placed them, I asked my opponent I could do this, go back and do it, because I had to redo it, but he said it was fine. So I created a supply depot here, and a supply depot somewhere else. Uh, oh, here you go. Two supply depots. I'm gonna have to get some helicopters there. I can't uh, use my C-47s to pair drop. I don't think supplies here to supply this. But anyway, once I get the units in this hex, I don't have to worry about supply, really. These supply depots are just there, ready to be deployed if, if need be, but I do need to get a helicopter on one of these supply depots. It helps out with the rough terrain. But uh, So the half strength insurgency units will be disbanded. I'll move some units through here. I'll try to get some, uh, we got special forces down here. We got the CIA helicopter here. He can be placed on one of these hexes for a defensive combat support mission. I can strafe some of these units, maybe reduce them. We'll see what happens during the uh, air mission phase, but more importantly, during the insurgency placement phase, we've got all kinds of insurgency units. It looks like a stack of four or five of them. Most of them are going to try to go into this hex. Uh, like I said, we're going to beef this whole area up with insurgency units that are going to be placed. Hopefully, it'll be placed uh, without no uh, units that don't get replaced. That don't get placed. Hopefully, they all get placed because I use them all. But if, you know, if any of them failed the placement uh, step, that will be a real bummer. So hopefully they all go in and I can use all five of them. But like I said, special forces, 
Maybe some more special forces. All these units can be moved by helicopter. But there's my plan. We're gonna hold on to this. This is gonna be my little case on spot. We'll try to get maybe get some units here, but here you go. We're gonna hold it on off here. We cannot you lose a spot here. Oh, we can't lose units, so. There you go, it's my little three minute rant. We're gonna see if we can get done. It is important. Insurgency movement phase. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with my insurgency units. Be back. All right then, insurgency movement phase is done. And all the insurgency units that are moved sideways has moved. You can see I got me a nice little corridor here. I'll let you look at some of these strengths of these units, knowing that uh, all these units can be moved by helicopter. This unit here can be moved by helicopter. This here unit can be moved by helicopter. This here unit can be moved by helicopter. So that's what we got going on there. Plus, besides all these units that can be moved by cop, uh, air, or helicopter transport, which is this stack, this, this, and this. We have a, a bunch of hexes that can still provide units here. We still are going into the uh, insurgency placement phase. And where can I find all oh, there it is? We're getting ready to put these units on here next. So there you go. So we'll definitely be beefing this spot here on up. Plans working out perfectly. Uh, weak spots. Eh. This boy here is out of supply. If I move too many of these units, I think if this guy here has no zone of control, so we'll have to see what's up. But it is nice to keep him out of supply. I think we have urgent matters elsewhere, and all these units can be moved. There's going to be a nice, thick old <laughs> World War One trench warfare going on through here. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and the thing of it is, you don't want to really spend too much resources with this because all the victory points are back here. So somehow i got to hold on to this while whilst <laughs> whatever the word it is starting to capture some of these spots back here and these aren't too weak either so i got my work cut out for me right now we're holding up right here uh i can absorb losses better than he can with the disbandment like i said all these units that are half strength here here they'll all be disbanded and be able to come back to full strength next turn so that's one of the advantages i got in my uh up my sleeve, my little pocket of tricks. We'll be back with the all important insurgency placement phase. All right, so, excuse me, I'm, I'm indulging in some of my favorite <laughs> little old pork rinds. Oh my God. I should have started the video after I started crunching and munching. But anyway, I've been going back and forth with some rules. I want to transport some units from here. You can transport from one friendly supplied hex to the next. He can move double his range. He only has a six hex range. Won't get him to the big juicy spot I want. But this hex here, when determined about supply, the unit below him is out of supply. Right now, after moving all these units here, he's in supply. I can trace the supply line through here. He has no zone of control, but it don't matter. This boy here, I believe, does. Or no, he has no zone of control either. Hmm. That could be a problem. Let me see what's going on here. I'll be right back. All right, well, that's moot anyway. Because the supply line will be running through him. And he negates anything else because of his presence. So here's a supply line coming from my supply source. Now, what I want to do is during a helicopter transport mission... That helicopter at J, helicopter is a trans is a range of six. He can move up to double from one supply tax to the next. At the time this unit below there is with his out of supply marker, he was out of supply. Now we're in supply. So that is a supplied hex. So he can move from one early supply hex to the next and move up here. But also we have a little rule that backs me up, but this is kind of what finished it with my opponent. Sorry about that. If a stack of transport helicopters is used to move uh, units from one hex that is not friendly and supplied, some or all of the units may be out of supply in the next supply phase if no supply line can be traced into the hex. There you go. So when my units do get there, they're all in supply because we got a supply line established right now. Now the next 
supply phase. We'll have to find out uh, if they're supplied out. So I'll be able to get another special forces unit in there if I want. And more importantly, my CIA helicopter. So my little Dien Ben Phu. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Dien Ben Phu or something like that. Or my case on uh, has a chance to get beefed up. A little nice little note I wanted to make note of. We will be back. I think I'm going to have to cut this little bin short. I got some leftover chores I got to take care of, but uh, we're having a great time. We come back, uh, show you some more of the logistics, what's going on with my little defense. We'll be back. All right, continuing on. And hats off to my opponent for waiting, uh, patiently waiting. Uh, he commented me on, he gave me an email, so he's really looking forward to the game, and he's been studying the map, and that's not never good <laughs> when you got time to study the map. I, I got to start making some moves here. I've been looking at this and looking at it, and there's all kinds of things to do, but uh, I, I got I to gotta send some moves. And another thing about in a, in a real game, if I was playing at a convention, I like the idea of having like a little sand hourglass to flip over because you really got in real life ain't got all this much time. I've had, well, it's been a busy, another busy week for me. Uh, I've had absolutely no time uh, during the week to play. I've, it's been just trying to get a, you know enough sleep to start the next day. But like I said, I only work during the summertime. During the winter, I am off, so I got to get it in while I can. But. Uh, yeah, we got some strategies working out all kinds of things. I've operations and things I can work out in my head, but I think right now it is the insurgency placement phase. Let me zoom in here. I'm looking at uh, river defenses. Disbanding, disbanding, disbanding. I'm, I want to disband all these boys here, and I want to start placing insurgency units around this river. I want to get this river defense. This boy here has got armor, anti-aircraft, hind D gunships, transport. This is the heck to be or a hex to be reckoned with. This is an, an uh, impenetrable, impervious force right here. It is a huge force. So the only chance we get to hold them off and to get in this back country is to uh, get behind these rivers now. This hex here is going to be reinforced by we can we got special forces with helicopter transport here. Regular unit with helicopter transport here. More special forces here. I got a CIA gunship too. If I could place someplace uh, for a defense against an attack, we got all kinds of things going. I was maybe going to attempt to uh, place insurgency units or form insurgency, or attempt to form insurgency units around here to get an attack going. This is what I really want. This is a nice little spot here, but unfortunately, insurgency units can only attempt to place insurgency units in hexes adjacent or in the hex they're in. Regular units can attempt to place insurgency units up to two hexes away. But you can see here I don't have no regular unit within that range. Oh, it hurts bad. Now, hold on, is there a boy here? Let me see. If there's a regular unit here, we're loving life. Oh, out of supply. Regular unit, but man, he's out of supply. He'll be in supply coming up, but right now he's out of supply and he probably can't. Oh, but if he could, one, two, I could start placing some insurgency units here and go after this spot here. I mean, look, that's, that'd be a key thing to do. I don't think he can out of supply. We'll be right back. All right, we have been through the rules on supply and the placement of insurgency units, and nowhere does it say that an auto supply unit cannot place insurgency units. I've looked all the way through it. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time and pause the game because I have to get a hold of my opponent and see what his uh, research uh, can produce. Uh, we got to find out the answer to this question. We'll be right back. All right, well, we're thinking it's just a, uh, it's not even a rat. We just think that the there's all those times when playtesters <laughs> get to a, a situation where they haven't covered it in the rules. But he does say, and we have both looked at it up and down, that there is no rule that prohibits it. So I am being allowed to place insurgency units in this hex 
two hexes away from a regular unit, even though he's out of supply. And uh, my opponent did say, it ain't really depending upon uh, his supply. Oop, where's my pinky? Uh, green. It's not really depending upon this old boy's supply. It's depending upon your insurgency command points. So uh, I got some good terrain. My first, uh, we will lower this down, spend one point, and uh, attempt with our allied. Ooh, let me get my buckler here. Sorry, bad work. I said it's all prepped. Insurgency command table. Here's our die roll modifiers. We will get a minus one for our placement attempt in the city, town, or outside. Well, against home country placement or disbandment attempt in the insurgency. There you go. We'll get a plus one on this outside. So there's our home country. So we always get a plus one. That is correct. I'm a little rusty. We don't do this often. We'll get a plus one on the die roll. We just gave took one one insurgency command point away. And uh, we will be attempting this in a mountain jungle with a plus one, so it should be a gimme. Here's the white die to represent. I gotta go in the other room, do some vlogging, and we'll be right back. All right, done with the six, it'll be a seven, and it'll be a yes. So, our very first insurgency unit. Let me look at these and see if they're all created equally. Yeah, I guess they are. So, our first one will be placed right here. There you go. All right, I have to have another unit. Oh, you know what, though? Huh. He can only attempt to place one in there, but that'll help us out. That'll help us out. Because now it's a friendly supplied hacks. He's always in supply. We could put one of these little markers on here. Let me see here. In supply. They tell you to even do this when you place them. So they're always in supply. Under place, so it's now considered an end supply hack. So I can bring somebody else in. We need to get this little spot here. We also need to hold, uh, reinforce our little caisson spots. And like I said, we are going to disband. Zoom feature in the upcoming disbandment phase. This unit, this unit, and this unit. All these units here are going to disband. We're taking refuge behind these rivers to give us some defense against some of these units that are attacking. We'll get a big defense value and a big terrain value we want to get out of this clear terrain here <laughs> it's made for armor and uh, mechanized units we need to get back in the jungle where it's a little bit more prohibitive it might even be prohibit prohibitive for them to even travel in there without a road or a trail so that is what we're doing we're on it having a great time with uh, some gaming some gaming time we're back all right then our next attempt will be right here that is a mountain jungle Oh, make sure I got everything correct. Yeah, Mountain Jungle with a plus one. We'll keep this die facing six because it's been lucky for us so far, but I'll let you know what the die roll was with a plus one. We're in a four that time with a plus one. It was a five, and that's a yes. So, taking another insurgency command point down, grabbing a unit, and putting him in our nice little spotty spot here behind the river. There you go. I will attempt to create another unit in his spot also, I do believe. We'll be right back. Cor oh, that's correct. We're going to go for that spot again. We'll just take another unit. We'll say the, this insurgency unit created this one. We got two units down here to create another one. So we will give us another insurgency command point down. Looking for a high die roll. We'll be back. A two that time. Mountain jungle. A two... We'll get a plus one, so it's a three, so that's a yes. So we still get us a insurgency unit in that good old spot there. All right. Let me make sure I got enough. Yeah, it will be the top one. So the unit below that unit, unit there in this hex will make an attempt. So, so far, this unit here created this one. This unit here created that one. This unit below it will create another one. I have another attempt with a plus one, looking for a high die roll. All right, die roll was a three. Uh, plus one is a four, that's a yes. Surgency command point down, grab a unit. This will be an eight, oh, well, we'll hold off. We'll keep it all the same way, but there's our third unit in that little spot there. 
We got three defense factors. Now the shooter here will attempt to create a unit there. Need a high die roll. We'll be right back. All right, three again. Plus one is a four, so there's a yes. That's our ARDE unit. I thought I had more units than that, but all right, we have four units there now. And that'll be the end of our insurgency placement phase. Next, you can see there will be our insurgency, our FSLN counterinsurgency. The only thing is, he has no more units <laughs> with air with the attack capabilities. He's used them all. So uh, then we'll skip that phase and we'll go to the first insurgency disbandment. And we'll be using the heck out of this phase. We'll be right back. Alright, first disbandment will be our old units that are retreating and are half strength uh, from the butt cook kicking they took there at old L Bluff. And the uh, Sandinistas moved in with uh, extreme prejudice. They have a bunch of strong units there, so they were about to use, lose this again. So uh, we're rolling for this old boy here. He is in the mountain jungle. We need a high number. Be right back. All right, not good. A one. Well, the plus one is two. Oh, does that get it? Yes. Huh. Now we, have, we figure out what to do with this. We do get a credit back, so we'll just say that he disbanded. Okay, we'll take him off. Put him over here in the insurgency placement section. Alright, we get one back. Well, let's not give us any credit on that one. Alright, because it says oh, it costs us, so we won't give us no credit for that one, but we will give the uh, insurgency in it back. That's what we'll do on that one. Or it says yes plus one, so on a, in a regular uh, disbandment, when you disband, it says in the rules, when you disband it and it's successful, you get an insurgency command point back. But since it says it cost us one, we won't uh, we won't give us an extra point back, but we won't give us our insurgency command point. All right, so we'll have our next unit here. We'll roll on the V log and hopefully it'll do better than one. We'll take a five. We'll be right back. All right, then a four, that's automatic. So uh, it's pretty well a gimme on all these. But on this one, though, I'm getting an insurgency command point back. So there you go. You can see the advantages that the counters have with their insurgency units on being able to disband when they uh, when they get hit. Or right, so they just want to get the heck out of there. The uh, intrinsic, uh, I don't want to say values, of the intrinsic abilities of insurgency units. Now on this one, you kind of want to watch it because I do have a unit here out of supply. But once these units are all gone, he can still go through this unit here, we'll block out his zone of control, and then these old boys can chase the supply line. One, two, it can be got up to four hexes to supply source, which will be this entrenchment, so it'll still be good when it comes for the communist player supply status phase. So, uh, you know, I thought that was weird, too. It did say in the rules that each player gets two chances to establish supply. So I guess where it says supply and supply, see here? When it comes to a communist turn, you check for supply for everybody. But when it comes for the ally turn, you check for supply for everybody. So that's a kind of a quirk. When it's a communist turn, you just don't check for supply for the communist player because it says in the rules specifically there's two chances for supply so from now on I'm going to have to point it out to my opponent when it's supply phase time you check for supply for both sides we'll be back alright zoom on in here first unit to be disbanded will be and it's kind of a bummer because these guys have a little soak off effect but we're going to build up our little case on our uh, how do you pronounce that Dian Van Pew. <laughs> Dian Van Pew. Uh, uh, Dian Van Pew, I think is what it's called. But there's a little spot here. So this is our first unit. And like I said, it's pretty much a gimme. I'll tell you what the die roll was on the V-Log. We'll be right back. Five plus one is a six. And so we are here. We'll be disbanded. And 
placed an insurgency placement and I'll get an insurgency command point back. Alright, we're loving this. Be back with the next die roll. Two plus one is a three and that's a yes. Oh, swamp forest. Yeah, so three plus one is a yes. Plus one. That is a swamp forest. It's not a mountain jungle, so he will disband. But as per our rule, we won't get a command point back. But look at all these units we can bring back here. Oops. Bad camera work. All these boys. Come back, and like I said, for the cartridges, it's pretty much a gimme when I want to disband. Uh, next one will be in this hex right here. This is the hex we really want to get out of because we got a bunch of armor, tanks, and stuff barreling down on us. So the old Pan C panic. <laughs> panic in the rain. Uh, be back with the panic styrol. Oh no, panic styrol of a one. And that is in. Oh, it's in the clear terrain. He doesn't make it. Not good. Man, bad die roll, so he's got to stay there. This next unit's the same way. He's got a clear terrain one. He's got to do two, so. Wow. Okay, well, let me see what his die roll is. We'll be right back, and he's half strength. Need a high die roll with a plus one. Be back. Man, we're hating life with these one die rolls. Plus one to two, so no, he still don't. So these two boys here are got to stay. Ouch! Trying to disband the clear some other. Hey, well, it don't help when you get freaking one die rolls. All right, hold on. We got to see here what's going on. Is that the only one? Oh, we got another boy up here. He's in the uh, forest. So we'll see what the die rolls on this. He's better luck. Be right back. All right, he will make it. So we will disband him. Put him over here in our little stacky stack. I think we got five or six units to look forward to. Creating anywhere we want full strength. Uh, we look around here. I think that might be it on disbandment. We're looking forward to our uh, air mission phase. Uh, make sure that's it for disbandment. We have a bunch of units here coming up to be placed next turn. Plenty of insurgency command points, but the boys out in the clear did not get out. They got stuck. <laughs> they they didn't make it. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, that'll be it then for the first insurgency disbandment phase. We'll move over here to the air mission phase. Now, I do have a bunch of uh, air units that I could use for close air support on any attack. Don't know about an attack. Do we do have a very weak airfield here? Oops. Airfield here, and the units in supply. Uh, I can bring. I, I got to find out what I want to do with all my helicopter capable units. Helicopter hex capable is right here. There's up to three units I can move. Also here and here. We gotta get somebody going on. Uh, do I reinforce this? Do I sacrifice these boys? They can't move. I need to put some units there to help with the attack. You know, it's a one. It's all automatic victory. I mean, he's. he's see what I'm talking about here. All right, we got some thinking, some strategizing to do, and some vlogs to send away to my more than patient opponent. Having a great time, great time. Central America. Whew. Somebody need to do a redo of this? I don't think they need to, but man, we release this game. Having a great time with Central America. I'll be back.